So here's the main fuse box for the house. And that there is the main power wire that goes into the sub panel in the basement. And alongside, you can see the network cable and the coax cable. I had to drill through all there, some big holes. Popped out some drywall and routed it right into the basement right there. So here's where the wire comes into the basement. Travels right along here. Right there through the ductwork. It was not fun running that big cable. And it comes down into here. Follows all the wires right down to the sub panel for the basement. And now, let me take you on an electrical journey. Okay, so we'll start off in the unfinished section. Nothing too exciting, but we have a light tied to a switch right here now, which is cool because it was one light for the whole basement before. Um, just installed this. This is one of the final touches. This is the recessed light at the bottom of the stairs. So that's going to be actually tied into the one right up there. One switch for both of them. So you can see at the top and the bottom of the stairs. Alright, so as you can see we got light down here which is cool. It's a new light which is all new. Um, I got a switch there. And that uh, basically eventually once the drywall is in and installed will tie to way over there. And that will basically run uh, these four recessed lights here. I also got three in the kitchen right up here, tied to a switch down there. Alright, so here's the media room, and let's just follow some of this electric here. You got an outlet, some more outlets, another outlet, which is actually all the uh, stereo, the AV equipment wires running all the way there, down to the other side, so it can be all concealed. Some more outlets. A switched outlet, so you're going to turn on the light right there, and it'll uh, it'll turn on the switch. You've got some electrical in the closet. Nice light up there. Uh, this here is actually going to be. There's a light hanging. It's not going to stay that way, but this is actually going to be for the uh, the fan. So you can actually put a fan in here. We're going to have a switched light, but we can also pop in a fan at any time. It's a cool little low-profile box. I like it a lot. All right, and so uh, as you can see, there's a lot of wires that I've run up here. I think I'm up to like 1,300 feet of wire that I have run last I knew. All right, so some more switches. This is the dedicated outlet for the microwave. It's the yellow wire. That's a 20 amp wire as opposed to the white, which is a 15 amp. Down there, you got the fridge outlet. Same deal, 20 amps because it's a fridge. And you see the the yellow wire here as well, 20 amps. These are the GFI, the ground fault outlets for the kitchen. Uh, anything near the sink has to have the GFI on it. Um, and again, we got the recessed lights for the kitchen. Those are very cool. I like installing recessed lights, at least in this scenario. No, not a new home build. On the other side of the kitchen there, we got some more outlets along here, which is cool. Spaced where I need them. Of course, more recessed lights, and as you can see right up there, another fan location which will eventually be popped up in there. All right, right down here we got an outlet for this is where the main TV is going to be. And as you back up, you can see uh, some more speaker wire, subwoofer cable, and whatnot going all the way up and around. Actually, you can't see it, but I'll follow it anyways. And down into the box right there. Come on over to the other side again. I've also started running the coax cable. So this is coming in from the garage. It comes down to here. And also that one there will run up into the bedroom. And uh, I've yet to install the one that goes down to the media room down there. I need about 75 feet. That should be done soon. Take a look up there. All these crazy cables that have been run in the process. Very cool. Uh, the electrical work was actually a lot more work than I expected. Um, took a lot more time, it's a little bit more complicated, and I had a lot of help, thanks to Gary, he's an awesome electrician. He showed me the ropes and got me going. But as you can see, all these studs, we needed to drill holes. Well, I needed to drill holes. And they ought to be spaced evenly um, up from the ground, because otherwise when you start pulling the wire, it's going to snag. So I had to measure them all out. And as you can see, on all the studs that you have wires running through, you have these cover plates. 
These cover plates are here basically because if you're uh, you know, popping something into the wall and you got to screw into it, you don't want to screw into the wire and cause some kind of electrical issue. So this plate prevents that from happening, just like you see there on the plumbing. So not only do you have to drill all these holes for the electrical wire, run all the electrical wire, pop in the plates, then you also have to obviously put all the junction boxes, and they need to be a set height from the floor. Um, same with the switches. So that took some work, and I came up with this cool little contraption. That's, uh, where is it? Right here. It may look a little weird, but it did the job. Let's just show you right down here. So you pop this in, put it right about there, told me right where it needed to be, popped that in with a hammer, good to go, saved myself a lot of time. Gotta think smarter. Alright, so, moving on. This is actually the, um, it's gonna be a little walk-in closet area under the uh, stairs. There's actually going to be a pull chain light in here. Uh, the switch just was not working, and that's just a junction box. But the switch wasn't working because there's really no way to get to it with the uh, steel beam here. It's kind of complicated, but there's really no good way. And behind the drywall, you can see um, some outlets that'll be in the living room. There's one there that you can't really see over there, and uh, even right there, we got some outlets in there. All right, so uh, we got some switches here. We got, uh, let's see, what do we got here? We have a switch outlet switch and uh, an outside light as well. On this side, we got the switched fan that'll go in eventually and the uh, recessed lights, the canned lights up there, which is cool. Popping in the bedroom, some outlets, a uh, switch uh, that'll control the light right in here. This is gonna be a GFI outlet. Anything near water should have GFI, so that will be a GFI outlet. Um, also, I had to rip out all the old cables for the wiring, which was kind of fun, kind of a pain at the same time. Um, again, we're in the bedroom. A couple of switches here for the light and a switched outlet. The coax cable is going to come down. The TV will probably be housed here. Um, see the double wires there? Basically, one wire is running all the outlets. The other is going down here, the switched outlet, and back around to the switch. Um, I've learned a lot over the electrical experience. Um, it's been fun. So, uh, some more outlets down there. Uh, right in here, this is the closet. So we're gonna have an outlet, or I mean a junction box, the light will be there. You got your switch. And uh, right down there as well is another outlet in the closet. So the electrical isn't quite as exciting as the framing and what's to come afterwards, but I definitely wanna progress or show my progress on the job. And the electrical, like I said, took a lot longer. And I'm very proud of it, because I've done quite a bit on my own. Um, although I couldn't do it all, Gary was a big help. Um, so this is the, uh, let me get some light there. This is the uh, double uh, junction box for the bathroom. There's actually gonna be four switches in there. One for the light, and the light will be there, um, eventually hanging. Um, but the big thing right there, what you're seeing right there is a box, an empty box, but there's a couple pieces that go inside of that, and this is actually going to be a light, a heater, and a fan. So it'll, it'll do it all. And then it's vented. Had to drill a hole right outside the house. Vented right into there. All right, and so as you look in there, too, those are the yellow wires because uh, carrying heat and whatnot. So again, uh, the yellow are 20 amp, the white is uh, 15 amps. Um, and as you can see, there is really... <clears throat> Just crazy amounts of wire going all over the place that's been run uh, and drilled. And uh, up here there's some pop-outs for wiring and whatnot. Um, but anyway, that is a tour of the electric in the basement. It's been some work, but now we got a nice little sub-panel down here controlling everything. And look at that, those are actually, those are cool. Those are actually dual switches that you see in there. So each uh, each breaker has a dual switch setup, so very nice, and there's, there's even room for expansion if need be. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the electrical tour. Uh, next to come will be the, uh, the drywall, which I'm not doing. I'm excited not to have to do the drywall, but the next video that you guys will see will be the drywall completed, which would be very cool.